Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel then welcome to you. Um, today I'm going to be looking at um, the air, earth, fire and water elements. Just to have a look at what is going to be sort of coming in at the end of March uh, for these elements. Um, I just thought it'd be a good thing to do just to um, like I say, just see what's going to be happening uh, around the star signs towards the end of month, the month going into April, because obviously the retrograde leaves us, I think it's around the 9th or 10th of March, so hopefully things will start to settle down a little bit. Um, so that's the um, elements that I'm going to be doing today, and the cards I'm going to be using, my lovelies, is the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed uh, Cheryl Richardson self-care cards, and the Annual Spirit by Kim Kranz. So to start off, I'm going to be doing the water signs first. So we've got Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. So I'm just going to move these out the way, but I'm going to concentrate first on the lovely Pisces, okay? And just to see what we've got coming in at the end of March, uh, beginning of April for you Pisces. So let's just have a quick shuffle. And let's have a look what's uh, coming in for you at the end of March, start of April. Just a bit of a heads up really, I just sort of jump on today and I just felt like I wanted to do this for the different um, elements, star side elements. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> I've still got this cough guys, <laughs> three weeks in and i am still got it on my chest. Right then, let's have a look. First card out then for you Pisces, we have the six of air. I'm just going to move this out the way so I can hear. So we have the six of air. Let's just have a look what the clarifying card is to this. And I feel those two want to come out, so I'm having those. So we have the two of fire and the six of fire. Now that's interesting, uh, Pisces, because I do feel here. The, the month of March at the start has brought you some challenging um, challenging elements uh, where you've had to deal with things, problems, it could have been financial issues, but I do feel that um, the waters have been quite stormy for you in February um, going into the start of March. But it's saying here, and this is really good, because it's saying that um, this turbulent time that you've been having this unrest, this unhappiness, this sad kind of energy that I'm feeling, I'm picking up with Pisces um, for the month of March, what you've been dealing with. As we go out of March, okay, with this horrible retrograde that's been in um, for a lot of us, um, you know, it's affected all the star signs, but it's just like um, a sigh of relief for you. Coming to the end of March, going into the start of April, then it's just saying that, um, calmer waters are coming in and you are being taken out of um, the situations that I feel some of you have been in. If I look at the two of fire it's as though that person is absolutely exhausted, weary, okay, it's got no energy left in them but it's saying here it's a positive um, reading because you are being guided out of that and then having the six of fire, okay, there's some new opportunities are going to be coming in for you my lovelies as we go in at the end of March into the beginning of April okay it's weird how we've got two ships here that have come in for you because like I say I feel this is the ship that you've been on on the rough waters okay going the last couple of months but it's saying here now your your actual ship is coming back in with bringing in you um, calmer waters and a lot of golden opportunities coming in for you, okay? You've been through it, uh, Pisces, um, how I feel from these cards that have been pulled out just for you. You have literally um, felt low in your energy, whether that's health reasons, whether that's financial issues, because obviously I'm looking at the, the pentacle here. Um, then I do feel, as I say, uh, with this reading that I'm picking up for the end of March going into April, there is better things coming in. So I'm just going to shuffle another couple of cards and just have a look what else is influencing you, Pisces. So 
what I'll do guys, I will put timestamps on these because obviously doing the collective water signs together. So uh, when I come to look at Scorpio and Cancer, then you can just um, obviously jump to the timestamps. So let's have a look what we've got coming out here. Just want to see what key people we've got around you Pisces. So we have Stingray and Shark. Okay, so this makes sense to me. They're both water elements. Okay. And I just do, I do feel that there's an element here around you, Pisces, where somebody has literally shown you their true colours, okay? And you have been on the defensive here, because um, I, I do feel this is where, where I said the, the stormy waters at the start. There's been issues around you where um, you've had to sort of defend yourself in a situation, okay? And literally, someone has shown you their true colours, um, and that's why we've got the the two, um, uh, the water element within these cards, the stingray and the shark. I'm taking you as the shark because I do feel that you have had to be on the attack in a verbal sense to defend something, to, to, to voice your opinion because you haven't been happy about something, okay? A lot of emotions have been um, around you as well. Uh, like I say, very, very stormy waters that you're coming out of. Um, but I do feel that through all this what's been going on you have literally seen the true colors of, of somebody so that's quite interesting so i'm just going to pull out one of the self-care cards now um just to have a look what this sums up this a short little reading for your pisces like i say i just wanted to jump on today and uh, felt drawn to just um seeing what was coming out of the retrograde period for everybody really so let's uh, that definitely wants to come out for you so we have weight okay if you can see here, I always look at the artwork uh, on, my, on my cards and the darkness that she's been sitting in, okay? But we can see uh, the light now um, just breaking through. Like I say, this is the energy that I feel with whoever the Pisces are picking up here. There's been some dark times, turbulent issues going on, okay? And you literally do feel like you've been through the ringer with somebody. Um, but it's saying here, wait, and the message on the back is, honour your resistance sometimes no action is the best action of all okay so i do feel there's a situation around pisces where yet yeah, you have had your say you have defended your territory i want to say your uh, environment um, your situation and by doing so somebody has really shown their true colors to you but now you've said what you need to say you've said your piece the ball's in their court okay and it's time to wait to see what reaction we get from you voicing your opinion. So I'm a lovely Pisces. I, like I say, there are only short reads today, these are. But I just wanted to jump in, like I say. And I hope you can um, take some elements of that little reading uh, for you. Um, but like I say, the, the message here for you is just saying, just sit, wait. You've said your piece, okay? You've voiced your opinions. And there's a clearing coming in as we go into the start of April. You're leaving these stormy waters and there's going to be new opportunities coming in. And this is on all aspects, really, you know, whether you've had the financial problems, whether it's been health issues, whether it's been romantic, um, you know, you've had issues with romantic side of things where someone has shown you their true colours. OK, uh, and the truth has come out as well. But like I say, I'm not going to go in depth uh, any further on these reads. I just wanted to give a quick snapshot. Uh, and that is what I've got for you, my lovely Pisces. So Pisces, if that's where this message uh, leaves you, then I'll say thank you very much for um, jumping on today. And hopefully if you are new to my channel, um, then any like, shares or subscribes helps me grow. Because um, obviously I'm just trying to grow up my uh, little um, collective family, so to speak. So yeah, thanks for dropping by today and I look forward to reading to you next time. Take care, my lovelies. Bye. So now I'm going to read for the lovely Scorpios and see what comes out for you, Scorpio. Okay, my lovely water signs, my water babies. So let's start shuffling for you, Scorps, and let's have a look what's going to be happening at the end of March, going into the start of April. Now, just a quick snapshot um, read. As I said, I just felt like I wanted to jump on here today and pull a few cards out and just see what's uh, happening around each um, element. So let's uh, have a look for you, Scorps, and we'll have a delve in and see what's going to come out for you. 
feel like I want to pick that one as well. So we firstly have the Two of Fire. <laughs> Is that strange? I've just read for Pisces, haven't I? Again, obviously I'm looking at the collective uh, signs of the water signs. And it's strange that like the Two of Fire has come out for you as well, Scorps. And with you we have the Ten of Earth and the Five of Water. And as I was saying, because of the retrograde coming to an end um, around the 9th or 10th, I can't remember which one it is, but I know that we're coming out of it anyway, the Mercury retrograde. And, you know, it's been a tough, challenging time for all signs, I feel, you know, we, you know, there's been challenges um, while that's been uh, sort of circulating around us, so to speak. So the two or five for you then, Scorpio. Again, there's been issues, I feel, where you've sort of had to help people you've been there supportive over the last couple of months you know um you've done your utmost uh in in trying to get people through difficult times but people i just feel people have used your energy and by doing that um you've just totally feel exhausted but you are coming out of that as we go to the end of march beginning of april you're being guided out of that uh with the 10 of earth it's a completion with a 10 it's always a completion so this cycle i feel there's a, a cycle here ending for you scorpio okay and with the five of water it's about resurfacing it's actually um i feel some of you may have suffered health problems recently okay your energy you've been running on a flat battery um but it's just saying here as you go through to the end of march start of april then you are literally going to be starting to resurface okay um and it's just getting your energies back because i do feel you've you've sort of been um protecting yourselves a little bit um some of you could have been quite withdrawn recently not feeling your you, your full self it's only because there's been issues around you scorpio in the last sort of six to eight weeks where as i say um you've you've been helping other people whether that's uh, family members or you know your partners or whatever but like it's all the responsibilities falling on your shoulders and like a scorpio is a trooper and they will help anybody but i do feel it's just saying that this phase is now on a completion you can start to resurface and recharge your batteries my lovely so let's just get another couple of cards out and just see who we're dealing with who the key players are around you at the end of march going into uh, april I look at the ten of earth as well it's like um sitting back in your own in your own space in your own time because i feel that a lot of you have been running around doing things for other people you could be busy in your work you know you've had to do a had a big heavy schedule workload wise but it's just saying now it's you know you're being taken out of that you can finally get some me time back to yourself and then uh, you can actually start to resurface and i want to say breathe you know um literally breathe again so let's just have a look what we've got coming out here i feel those two definitely want to come out so we've got the wolf which is the alchemical sign of earth and we've also got the horse also the alchemical sign of earth so i do feel here okay i'm going to take um I'm going to take you as the wolf here, Scorps, okay? And the person that you've been dealing with, who you've been trying to get um, things sorted out for, I'm going to take as the, the horse element. The only reason is I think that um, you've been, I feel like who I'm connecting with on the Scorpio level, there's somebody not being well that you've sort of been taking care of, okay? Because when I look at the horse here with the, the dark corners, there's four dark corners on that on that horse there's somebody i feel health wise okay where you've been putting your time and energy in helping them to recoup scorpio like i say it's not going to resonate with everybody but this is what i'm feeling you as the wolf okay you have been there on guard protecting because the wolf protects um their pack okay so on a metaphorical sense i'm taking you as the wolf scorpio because you have literally, okay, um, given your heart and soul and, and your energy to this person where I feel they've had to get back on their feet in, in some way, shape or form, okay. 
you being the wolf have been totally dedicated here okay um but it's given you some dark times it's made you feel low as well because of all the energy that you've given this person in whatever situation it, it, it leads into but it's saying here okay you stood your ground and you did your utmost best for this person yeah it took it all out of you okay but it's saying here now they are back on their feet okay there's a new new phase coming through for them as well um there's like it's like i want to say that it's like life has come back into them the color because uh, with all the black that's been around them they've been in a really dark place scorps whoever you've been giving your energy and guidance to here but you've stood by them okay and yet it's it's affected you as well but it's saying you're both coming out of this now uh, and better things are going to be starting to come in um as we go into april so let's just grab another card here so that is quite that is lovely really it's been difficult whatever the situation you've been dealing with it's been draining energy zapping okay it's been just so time consuming um it could be that you've been nurturing somebody who's been really ill gone through a lot of or could have had an operation or anything and you've been sort of a caregiver okay and it's really really took it out of you but you've been a trooper and stood your ground against them but i'm just so happy to see that you know it's a completion and they are back on their feet come the end of march start of april they are back on their feet and you can move on it's sort of closing a chapter on this okay so let's just get one of these last cards out for you scorps <coughs> excuse me guys that definitely doesn't want to go back in so we have magnificence okay magnificence here and it says own your magnificence the world needs your brilliance and grace and it's just to say here it's like a self it's like you're hugging yourself scorps here like to say i got through it i've done it okay and as i said you can breathe you can breathe now as we go at the end of april going uh sorry the end of march going into april okay you've done a magnificent job i want to i just want to say you've done a magnificent job of being this strong character in the wolf sense where you've stood your ground in trying to get this person back on their feet so my lovely scorps it's not going to resonate with everybody i have just jumped on here today to do this quick um sort of snapshot of what i feel is coming in for the different elements um okay i'm doing the water signs now obviously but I hope you can take something on board of what I've said there. If you are new to my channel, then any likes, comments or subscribes, guys, it helps me keep doing what I'm doing and helps my collective family grow. So, and it doesn't cost anything, obviously. So, yeah, any support you give me is uh, most welcoming. So, my lovely Scorpios, till next time, take care, my lovelies. Bye then. Okay, my lovelies, I'm now going to have a quick look at a snapshot of what's coming in at the end of March, beginning of April for my lovely Cancer Water Babies now. So I'll just move that out the way and we'll have a look and start shuffling of what's coming in for you, my lovely Cancerians. So let's start shuffling the cards and we'll have a look what is happening for you. Now this retrograde is sort of moving its way out of the solar system and it really has been a challenge. I think it's really affected a lot of signs. Um, on all different levels but i want to see what the good things may be coming in for you now cancer okay what's influencing you so let's just have a look what we've got take that one and that one and we'll have that one so we have nine of air two of air and transformation okay so for you my lovelies i've got two elements here as soon as i look at the nine of air and the two of air we've got a lot of decisions and choices coming in for you cancer there's a lot of um opportunities going to be coming in for you at the end of march and the start of april now this is on two two elements here because i feel there's a love interest on the one side of the coin where i feel that some of my cancers will have had their head turned or will have their head turned okay um it could be that some of you are already in a relationship and it's 
you know, you're a little bit uncertain, but I do feel here, whoever I'm tuning in with on the Cancerians, there is an element here on the love side that you are going to have your head turned by somebody new who's coming in for you. That was weird, my light sort of went flickering then, so I just hope we're not going to lose the lights, guys. So that was a bit weird then, I'm not sorry. Anyway, get back to it. <laughs> Nine of air, okay? This is, um, I do feel this is a more peaceful time coming in for you as well, Cancer. I do feel that uh, the energies around Cancers for the last couple of months, it's been sort of uh, on the go, on the go, okay? But there's going to be a more quieter, peaceful element coming back in um, on, on your life at the end of March going into April. Um, I do feel as well that you're higher in your vibration. I feel some of you could have been on a low ebb, could have been on quite, um, you know, feeling quite low, having very low mood, and you are going to be lifted out of that as well with the nine of air, okay? But I just feel a more tranquil, peaceful phase is about to come into your life, Cancer. But on the other side, as I said, um, there's going to be this head turning thing here with on the love side of things where some of my cancers are going to have their head turned. There's a new person coming in to your life uh, who is going to make a significant influence here. And the transformation card that's come through, uh, it's a surprise element. There is going to be some surprise news, um, some key news coming into you, I feel, at the start of April that you didn't expect. And from the news that you receive, this is going to sort of change things, okay? It's going to put a different light. Maybe that's why my light, <laughs> my lights flickered earlier. Just to say, there's going to be something come to light to your cancer, something you wasn't aware of. And the news or information you get from this is going to be a total game changer. So it could be something that you've planned to do, okay? Or you've looked at going into or um, a job opportunity that you're thinking of going into and then all of a sudden you get this information come in and it could just totally change that situation it's that kind of a vibe i feel but i do feel there's going to be some uncovering of news or a surprise element coming in at the start of april that is literally going to change things that's why we've got uh, the, the changing focusing gaze here okay and i just feel you're hiring your vibration. You're being you're being taken to a higher vibration for some reason. So let's get another couple of cards and we'll get some clarification on this. This is quite interesting, Cancer. So like I say, these are just little quick snapshots I'm doing today, guys. So I'm not gonna try and go too in depth, but I just wanted to jump on here today just to have a look of what is coming in at the end of March, April. So we have Peacock and Gazelle, okay? So this is why I feel we've got the um, alchemical sign of air with the alchemical sign of fire. I'm going to take you as the gazelle here, uh, Cancer, because <laughs> it's basically um, you're just sitting there, okay? Minding your own business type of thing. Everything's sort of, you know, you, you, you're feeling quite, well, you thought you felt quite settled, okay? And then this element's coming in, this person, this peacock, is literally just going to, this situation's coming in, all, all, it's a bright, it's a good opportunity, whatever this is, whatever the news is, whatever the surprise message is, whatever the person who's coming in, it's a good element, okay, with the peacock, um, but it is, like I say, you'll be just sort of minding your own business, okay, just merrily going along your, your, your business, and then it'll be, bam, this is going to come in, really really unexpected but and it will transform whatever's going to happen you know whatever this news is whatever this person is whoever's going to cross your path okay but it's just saying here you, it wasn't you, you know you just you just wasn't expecting it but this opportunity that's coming in it's a grand opportunity having the peacock in the metaphorical sense okay it's going to bring you um either financial gain or a better situation it's just going to transform an aspect of your life for the better okay so i'm just going to leave that there and then we'll just get one more card out for you cancer and we'll have a look what's coming out and we have action okay we have action so this is why <laughs> this is why it's unexpected um, 
we have one here take action the journey to find your lost self begins with one step but i look on the artwork on here and it's literally like when you turn a corner and you and you're faced with something that you didn't expect to to be there and that's why i feel um this is a message for you cancer by the end of march going into april there is some some news some some prize information that you didn't expect that's literally going to uh, change your pathway and it, it'll need an action on it it could be on the love side as i said where you get your head turned by somebody new coming into the mix here yet you just sitting there minding your own business not really looking for romance or anything like that and wham this you know this person comes into your life but it's saying here whatever this news surprise element is action will be needed by you okay because i do feel it's one of those situations where you turn a corner and then well i've got to deal with it type of situation so i'm just going to leave it there because like i say they're just little quick snapshots of uh, info and obviously when i come to do my monthly reads maybe some of this will start to come out and materialize a little bit more but that's what i have for you cancer um, I hope you can take some information on board for that. If you are new to my channel, then uh, any likes, comments, uh, subscribes helps my little collective family grow on here and keeps me doing what I'm doing. And um, until I read for you next time, my lovelies, take care of yourself. Bye then.